Hello, this is Annette from Information Services, and today I'd like to talk about Creative Bug. Creative Bug is one of our databases, and it contains over a thousand online videos of arts and crafts workshops and techniques for adults and children taught by inspiring artists, designers, and everyday crafters. If you are looking for a place to learn a new crafting technique, or maybe you already know how to do something, but you're just looking for inspiration, I highly recommend trying out Creative Bug. So Creative Bug gives you an overview of the project that you can, um, you can start on, and then they'll tell you about the materials that you'll need, and they'll break down and explain every single bit of material, and then they'll give you step-by-step -step videos. It's a great place for people who um, love to learn and love to craft. One of my favorite things to look for on Creative Bug is gift wrapping ideas. And one of my favorite creators on Creative Bug is Megumi Inoue. Megumi Inoue is a crafter who is influenced by her Japanese heritage. And what she does is she shows you Japanese techniques for gift wrapping using materials that you could have laying around your house. Today, I am going to demonstrate what I learned from her video tutorial titled Horoshiki Tin Wrapping. I highly recommend this video tutorial because it's short, easy to follow, and you don't need very many materials. You can, again, just grab anything that's lying around. Um, in the video, she explains that Horoshiki is a Japanese method of wrapping items with a single piece of cloth. In the video, she wraps um, a round cookie tin with a single piece of cloth. And anyone who's ever wrapped anything remotely cylindrical knows that it's pretty difficult to do that with a regular piece of paper, or regular pieces of paper. So today, I am going to be wrapping this um, candy bowl that I have that has a little bunny and it says, somebody or some bunny needs a treat. I need a treat. And I have this piece of cloth that I've cut to 19 by 19 inches. It's just a piece of scrap fabric that I had laying around. Now, if you want to follow along, pause the video, grab your materials, and follow along, and let's get started. So here is my bunny bowl, and I thought it would be fun to put some gifts in the actual bowl. So I have some earrings here. I'm going to put them in. And then I also have um, some candy. I'm going to stuff that into the bowl as well. So I'm going to set this aside for just a sec. Then I'm going to take my fabric, and here is my 19 by 19 inch fabric. Lay it out. If you have fabric with print, the print should be face down because when you're done wrapping, the print is going to be facing out. So right side down, wrong side up. Then I'm going to take my bowl and I'm going to put it in the center or as centered as I can make it. All right, there you go. Now to check if my fabric is long enough for this wrapping, all I need to do is take one corner and drape it over the object. And if it can reach over just like this, that means that the fabric is long enough. I'll show you again. There you go. So as you can see, it can reach over the other side pretty well. So that means that this fabric is long enough. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the fabric just so that it is now diagonal. Here you go. And then I'm going to take the corner closest to me, this one, and I'm going to match it with the corner opposite, like this. So now I've created a bit of a tent. So here is my object. Um, I'm going to adjust as I go along. So now that these two corners are meeting, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wrap my pointer finger and my thumb around the fabric that I have just brought together. So I'm going to tightly wrap it and then I'm going to push down over the object, just like this. And what I want to do is create as much tension as possible. The lines that you create here look very nice when um, the wrapping is finally finished. Let's 
just want to pull. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the corners and I'm going to wrap it around. So here is one corner. I'm going to now wrap it around the little bunny ears that I've created here while still maintaining my hold on that um, original set of bunny ears I said. So I'm going to wrap it around. And then I'm going to take the other side or the other corner and I'm going to wrap it around the opposite end. And as you can see, I have just created another set of bunny ears. And as any kid will tell you, that means you're ready to tie a knot. So I'm going to tie a knot around the bunny ears. I can let them go now. And I'm going to make sure that it's nice and tight. Nice and tight. Okay, adjust as you go. This is just fabric. You can just move it around as much as you want. And since my bunny ears are still pretty long, what I can do just for a, a tighter a tighter fit, I can wrap it around again one more time, and make a knot. Just like that. Now here, you just adjust till you think it's nice enough. So I'm just going to try to turn this out a bit. There you go. A fun little wrap that will attract a lot of attention, attention on the, uh, on the little gift giving table. And there you go. That is a Hiroshiki wrapped bowl. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial on Froshki tin wrapping, or in my case, Froshki bowl wrapping. If you tried this out, please let us know in the comments below. Um, what did you think? Did you think it was nice? Did you think it was fun? If you have any questions about uh, signing up for Creative Bug, please contact the Information Services Department. You can email us at wellmail3 at midlib.net. You can call us at 781-235-1610, extension 1117, or you can live chat with us on the library website, wellesleyfreelibrary.org. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and stay creative.